this pantry was what my office used to be and as you guys can see like my wingspan is the size of this entire room I go like this and I'm touching wall to wall so this was literally the office that I built here obviously none of this was in it all I had was literally you guys can go on my Instagram there's a picture so my entire desk took up the entire space I had one chair my monitor set up and then I had a bunch of pictures of charts on the walls just trying to memorize these patterns and this is essentially where my trading journey first started bro I would spend hours in here and you would think since there's an AC unit in here it'd be cold as shit in here it is hot as no shit. it is hot as fuck in here so I was sweating like crazy um learning how to trade but yeah I was talking to my discord community and like yo you know you should show like the pantry where it all started I'm like damn bro it's you know it's kind of a a good idea and then obviously now going to my new house it's going to be completely different because it just shows you guys the level up where I started versus where I'm at now and again this is the third home I'm ever gonna own which is a true blessing because literally 17 year old me sitting in the office chair here only could have dreamt about the life that I'm living right now and I know that 17 year old me would definitely be proud of how far I've came because it's been a long journey like I said it's gonna be seven years now in October of being inside of the trading niche and it's nice to come back here at times and remember like damn bro like this is where my office was and it, it, it's changed so much over the years obviously as my mom's remodeled and everything like it's it's nice to come back and reflect a little bit you know I don't really do much of that over here nowadays when I just come I just come to visit my mom but I came you know just to remember my journey and um, where I first started. So this was the fucking, this was the office, bro. This was the office. What was your first pair that you traded here? I think it was uh, USD JPY on my first trade. I made like 50 bucks. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was trading Forex. I was trading Forex then. It was mainly Forex. It was either uh -huh. USD JPY or your USD, but I'm pretty sure it was USD JPY. Yeah, bro, this is this was my very first office. And literally my life was leaving my bedroom, coming into this room, <laughs> and then coming back into my bedroom that was literally my entire life and then I got so annoyed of it being so hot so I sacrificed my closet I pushed the bed all the way to the end and I built my my office set up in here I had a glass um, I had a glass L-shaped desk and it barely fit in here but I made it work I made it work that was literally it but I'd wake up computer computer bed bed computer and that was it and the kitchen was right there which was nice too but yeah, that is the beginnings. I just wanted to start off this video to show you guys, you know, how far along I've came so far where we're at now. And let's get on to the house tour. Really quick everybody, I just wanted to shout out one of my students really quickly. One of my students, Jonathan, he just sent me a DM on Discord. He said, thank you so much, bro. There you go, mark my words. I'll be the biggest payout in DTI soon. Stay tuned. Which I believe the biggest payout that we've had in DTI was probably Cedric. The last biggest payout we had was Claudio, which he made $48,000. Got paid out, I think, 40K, but then Cedric beat him and had like a 56K payout. But Jonathan just sent me a DM. He'll be the biggest payout one day. And he just received a payout of $16,000, which that's absolutely fantastic. And I'll show you guys, obviously, that he DM me here. He's killing it, bro. $16,000 payout. Again, he made his investment back from what he invested into me and into me as a mentor. And then he made that back times 10. So the investment that he made into DTI was a very small investment compared to the returns he's going to be getting in the future. That's one thing you guys can never be afraid of is investing in your knowledge. 
talking about investing in your knowledge. We're gonna be accepting another 100 students to join us on August 2nd, so make sure you guys do apply because we do have an application process because we don't want anybody joining DTI that's not gonna put in the work to ultimately change their futures because I'm investing a lot of my time into DTI. And for someone to take that for granted, we don't want them inside of DTI, so there is an application process. Other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the house tour and I'll have a link to the application process down below. I guess to kind of give you guys some backstory, so you guys can understand uh, how important, well, technically last night was for me, was um, was uh, to give you guys some backstory, and make it long story short, was back in, uh, I don't remember when I moved to my first apartment. I think it was maybe like 2020, when I was moving out of my parents' house and moving into my first, my own place. You know, I was told, you know, you should look to buy a house, right? And I looked around in my, area and I found essentially what was my dream home which is in the community that I'm living in right now but it's not the same model and I saw that house for sale for 1.8 million at that time I was like bro there's no way I can afford this house for 1.8 million I and mean, you're talking about the down payment alone after closing costs would be maybe a little bit over half a million or probably like around that half a million dollar mark four hundred fifty thousand dollar mark I was like bro there's no way I have that much cash to just be like here you know here's just the money for the down payment right and that's like that was like the first stepping stone for me it's like okay like at some point in time i'm gonna buy that house now sadly that specific house was sold um a few months ago which is crazy i'm talking about like the same exact house that i saw on zillow was sold a few months ago and that house sold for i think 2.5 million dollars and it was a six bedroom, obviously three car garage, and it's the very first house um, that you see when you drive into my community. And that's that was kind of like the stepping stone for me. Now, obviously I bought a house after that, after I moved out of my apartment, I bought my first house. And then I bought my second house. And one thing that I was discussing with my realtors, like basically what I've been doing is like luxury real estate flipping, which is true. I bought my first house for 830,000 and I bought my, and, and I sold it for almost a million, like 975,000 and it's all public record, by the way. So really quick, just no kind of, you, yeah, no forget to kind of give you guys like a kind of like a pause. Um, one thing that I've always been with my community and my following is super transparent. I didn't do a house tour on my last house, except for the one time I did it on Snoo Jay's channel which I claimed that, you know, that was a rental, was because, again, I was I was renting. It wasn't my house, and I knew that at the end of the 12 months, I had to give it back or renew the lease. Now, I did have the option to purchase that house, and I was in a lease-to-purchase agreement, but it just didn't make sense from a financial standpoint to buy that house because the house that I bought right now, I bought for $3,050,000. They were asking three million three hundred, dollars And I'll get into like the reasons as to why I bought this specific property and looking at it from an investment standpoint as well. And then they were asking $2.8 million for the house that I was renting. And I just didn't see the value. It was just super overpriced in my opinion and it was 4700 square feet like my new house is 10,000 square feet and it's one of four in my community so going back to what i was saying previously i didn't post a house tour on my last house because again it was a rental and i've always told you guys that i'm renting here and i'm renting for 15,000 a month and i'm not one of those people to go online and say hey guys you know i just bought my brand new house for x amount of dollars and it'd be a rental because again all of that is public record and you can see and i've caught so many traders lying about buying their house and then it actually being a rental and because again it's all public record and just like i'm saying it's all public record like in a few weeks once um everything gets updated you'll see that this is a house that's purchased under my corporation but going back to what i was previously saying with my last two houses you guys could go see that I actually bought for this price and sold for this price. My first home I bought for 830,000, sold for almost a million dollars, like 997,000, something along those lines. My second home, and 1031 exchanged all of that, by the way, into my second home, which I bought for 1.4, and then sold for 2 million. And all they simply did was move into the house, renovate it a bit, put it up for sale, and then moved out. And then my second home is, the thing is, I would have done a 1031 exchange into this house, but I actually ended up taking like 
a minor L because I had to pay the capital gains tax from the previous um, sale that I had from the profit. And that's simply because um, you only have like six months for 1031 exchange to be valid. And this has been about a year since I've sold my second home. And now I just purchased my third property ever for $3 million. Uh, what we ended up closing out was $3,050,000, which um, is the most expensive home that I've ever purchased. And it's just a very humbling experience because not even from like a flexing standpoint or anything, but I made a video last night, like literally bro, like I had gone back from vacation. It was like two in the morning and I was just like, just literally sitting on the sidewalk, just staring, admiring my house, not just admiring the structure itself, but admiring all of the years of hard work and again like it goes back to the cliche sayings you know the sleepless nights the depression and it was all worth it and i was just literally there in mind i had i actually recorded a video of me kind of like talking to myself like in a third person you know just so uh whenever things get tough again because they will that's part of life you know you're gonna have your ups and your downs i can go back reflect and watch that video i'll send it to Baka so we can kind of include it in the video but it's um Again, it's not even from like a flexing standpoint, to be honest, because it's 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 just a very humbling experience knowing that I've been in this industry and I've been trading for the last seven years. And I've literally accomplished every single thing that I've ever put my mind to. And it's again, like it's it's one of those moments where it's like I am accomplished all of my dreams. And when I saw, you know, my dream car, my dream cars, my dream house all there and it's it's mine none of it's a rental it's it's mine i have the deed i have the titles you know it was a a very like a, i don't know how to explain it, it was like it was like a damn like it was like i if, fucking did it bro it finally hit you if it, it, it finally hit me i was like damn bro i i fucking did it bro honestly it's like two in the morning and i don't really know what i'm doing out here but it's just kind of like a a video message uh to myself because obviously I just got back. Uh, I don't know why I'm talking like this is a vlog. I sit down here, but um, I guess I'll just talk about some context. Just got back from a trip from Mexico, obviously with Nicole and the baby, Nicole and Mia, obviously my mom, my sister Sophia, and they're not here. I'm here by myself at the at the new house. They are uh, packing up the stuff that we had at Nicole's mom's house. And just thinking about how far I've come, it's uh, it's been a long, long journey, definitely. And uh, I guess this is, a, this is a video to myself. I just wanna say how proud I am of you, that you've been able to accomplish literally anything that you've set your mind to, especially when it came to like your first supercar, or when it came to your first home, when it came to you moving out, when it came to you buying, you know, your first dream watch, anything that you've put your mind to, you've actually accomplished, unlike a lot of other people out there, and that's because of the work ethic you have, and the drive and the motivation that you have behind you, and honestly, you know, I know you don't hear it a lot, but I just wanted to let you know how proud I am of you, and I'm just, outside right now kind of admiring and just soaking everything in which is just ridiculous i mean this is literally my dream home in my dream city and i mean dream lamborghini dream rolls royce i mean like i said you've been able to accomplish anything you put your mind to and i just want to do let you know how proud i am of you i know sometimes things to get tough things to get difficult it doesn't matter if it's finances, friendships, relationships. I just want you to say you've came a long way. You gotta keep going. You've got a family depends on you. And I hope you can look back at this video whenever you're going through a hard or a tough time. And just remember how far you've came from where you first started. You know, back in mom's little like pantry that you used as your office to now it's just it's incredible it's incredible and i just again want to say how proud i am of you let's start with kind of like i guess the garage we'll work our way 
first floor and do the second floor and then wrap it up. We're gonna give you guys a bonus at the end of this video. Um, we picked up this bad boy. Here's my Yours Performante, which, bro, I'm in love with this thing already. It drives insane. So here we have the three car garage. Keep in mind, guys, two things. One, we're gonna renovate a lot on this property. And two, there's a lot of furniture that is pending to be shipped here. So the house is a little bit empty. There's obviously a three car garage and my plan for the garage is essentially I'm gonna have the SVJ here. I'm gonna have the SF90 and the Turbo S on this side until the Roberto gets here. Then I'm gonna get a lift, which I'm gonna put on the single car garage side, I think. So save all this space, right? I was gonna do epoxy floors and I think I still might, but it, it, bro, it gets so dirty so quick. It looks disgusting. Definitely gonna change the lighting in here. This is the three car garage area where obviously we're still moving in. We still have boxes and shit to move. There's a nice storage area here too, which is super dope. I just have some monitors and stuff in there. So we have some storage in there. Then you have the entrance to the house here where this wall is getting knocked down right away. We want to build a, uh, a wine cellar here. That's kind of what we were talking about. We have the dining room area on the other side as well. We have a guest bathroom here. Oh, here we got the kitchen, right? I mean, bro, there's just like so much shit that I want to do, but it's like, I know it comes with time. Like this fucking wallpaper, bro, is disgusting, bro. Disgusting, so we're gonna put that off. We're gonna make this white, obviously. And then we have all of these windows, bro. Like, I don't know why, like, these things are even there. We got the shades, more shades here. In the kitchen area, we have a living room area here where, of course, the TV and all that's going up there. We got the kitchen here. This was like another dining room area, but I'm just gonna leave this space empty here. And what we're gonna do is kind of extend this island, and we're gonna have like a little mini island here so then we can just kind of have um, another eating area. But I mean, all of this is gonna change. I'm glad I'm documenting this now. Cause one thing I wish I did was document kind of like the before and after on the home renovations on my last house. And then again, like even with this area, bro, we're gonna have to completely fill up this space. There's a lot of walls that we have to paint. There's a lot of things that we have to do, but it just comes with the territory of getting a house that needs to be renovated. I don't know why people are keeping this down, bro. It's like, take you guys here to the outside and then we'll go back in so this is the outside barbecue area which is spacious it's big so this is the barbecue area. like I said before I want to change literally everything and it just comes with the territory of getting a house that needs to be renovated to me it was like okay well I could buy the five million dollar house and let's just wait and see how long until I go into the green on that property and I have to be stuck there for longer versus on this house, I can get it at a lot cheaper price, fix it up, renovate it, and then potentially sell it for a lot more than what I have invested into the property. So these floors, I'm gonna completely change. This countertop, I'm gonna completely change as well. I'm gonna put an accent wall back there. I like the barbecue. Um, I'm gonna get rid of all of this grass. I don't want any natural grass. It's gonna be all turf. I'm gonna be getting rid of this tree. I'm gonna be getting rid of all of these plants. I'm gonna be getting rid of the glass, the grass, and we just put all turf, because I want you guys to kind of envision what we have in mind in the picture. Obviously, these big slabs of concrete, I'm gonna replace as well to a nicer tile. And the whole house is getting painted too. We're gonna go with like a, a little bit of a darker theme, like a brownish kind of theme. I don't know, I don't know if I wanna say brown, but we're definitely gonna go with definitely a, a darker theme onto the house and all these pillars here they're gonna get painted black they're gonna get painted black as well so I have a lot of ideas for the house but obviously we're gonna be working with an interior designer you have the doors to the house as well and then over here after kind of the backyard area what really caught me with this house in specific was the potential for the backyard area because you have all of this space here you have all of this space over there by the pool area and I could literally turn the backyard into like some form of a resort or at least give it that resort type of vibe. Then over here we have the outside room, which it's a very nice size. It's a very nice size room. 
As you guys can see, they're already ripping off all of the wood that's in the room. This is like the storage closet area. This is also where the AC is as well. They've already started ripping off the wood. We're obviously gonna put a nice towel in here, nice tile in here. And then over here we have a full bathroom and shower, which bro, and when I say I'm gonna re-renovate everything, I'm telling you guys everything. This is why I'm bringing you guys along the journey and doing a house tour for you guys, as you guys know. Again, me, I'm big on transparency. My last house, I told you guys, yeah, that was a rental. I don't think I'm gonna do a house tour here because this house isn't mine. This shit is mine. I got the deed on this house. Not rented. Not rented, exactly. And again, all this shit's public record, bro. So what me and Baka were talking about on doing over here was basically building some form of a recording studio just to give you guys the best content possible. I mean, then over here we just have like the AC area. There's really nothing to see kind of like out here. This goes to what would be considered like the pool bathroom in a sense where you get out of the pool and you go straight to that bathroom and the guests could use that bathroom there. Then we have these huge sliding doors which goes straight into the living room here. And this house is, is, is definitely for entertaining. I'll tell you that for sure. One thing I really love about this house as well, which it, some people commented, it gives me throwbacks, throwback vibes to my old house in modern 75. We just had these huge windows on the front of the house. It was super dope because lighting is a big thing for me. Of course, I'm gonna be getting rid of all of these shades here. And I wanna get that tint that we were talking about where you press a button, the whole thing will frost up. I got a nice view of the front yard, the community. I got a nice view of my cars over here as well. And then after the living room area, it takes you over here, which by the way, like this wall, I don't know if you guys can really picture this, but this wall in person is huge, bro. Like if you were to stack like six or seven of them, it would probably be towards the ceiling. So I don't know how tall these ceilings actually are, it's ridiculous. And like I said, there's still a lot of things we want to do. Like these floors, I don't even know if we're going to keep these floors because we're going to completely rip off all of the wood that you guys see throughout every single bedroom upstairs. And we're going to put glass railings instead of these railings here. So everything's going to be completely re So over here, it leads you to another guest room that we have, which is going to be my wife's office. The server room's in here and stuff. So the internet guys are working on it right now. Yeah. Then you have over here that bathroom that we were speaking of that leads directly to the outside. But again, it's just like these curtains. Like I don't, I don't feel like the previous owners put the love into the house that should be in the house. You know what I mean? Yeah, the house has a lot of potential. A, a ton of potential, which is why I bought it. Instead of buying like the super crazy, already expensive and already renovated house, I'll do this and make it as an investment. Because one thing me and my realtor were talking about is what we were doing my last two houses was basically just real estate, uh, luxury real estate flipping, which is, is true. And we're going to put an accent wall on throughout this wall. And one thing that was super dope that I saw at the other house that they did was they had like a black mirror go from the ceiling or from the floor all the way to the ceiling and that looked ridiculous. So going upstairs, like I said again, bro, we're gonna get rid of all of this wood. I'm not a fan of person. There is the second living room area, which we already have the furniture for. We just gotta literally put it in, but we're not going to until we rip off all of this wood. We're gonna probably make this like a TV area or like a playpen for the kids. You know what I'm talking about? Those big, those big squares. <laughs> You mean we got the, windows here. The kids' cages? Yeah. You know what a dope idea my mom was telling me we should do? Is to find out if we can actually make this floor to ceiling windows here, which well, that would be, that would actually be super dope. Expensive. Yeah, expensive, but super dope. So over here we got my office. So, I said like, we're working on everything right now. But I wanna have the office fully renovated. There was wallpaper there. Obviously, kind of removed. It's gonna be painted. Then we got the office closet, which is dope. It's a huge closet. I just have some stuff in here for now. I still have some of my office stuff in the garage, but to throw back some of the accomplishments, my very first exotic car. This was my second STO. 
this was my third Urus. Bro, I've had a lot of Uruses, bro. Yeah. So I'm about the Performante, my wife's Urus. Urus S. That yeah. Urus. Five Urus in total, I think. Five Urus in total. Then packages from Lamborghini. So it's nice, bro. It's nice to come in and be able to see that. Got the office bathroom. And then the office has a balcony, but I don't want to obviously disturb. I think this is my daughter's office chair. <laughs> <laughs> And then over here, we have a door that leads to basically a patio, or not a patio, a terrace. Open this. So this is the terrace that's above the outside. I'm gonna call it the studio room that we're gonna build. It's literally right above. So my plan up here for the terrace is, I don't know if I'm gonna keep these, or if I'm gonna put maybe a nicer railing. You know what those railings last? I can drop last. So I'm gonna put turf all throughout this entire area. I'm obviously gonna do lighting as well because then you won't see how dirty the floor actually is versus the turf. It's gonna give it a nicer feel. You can walk out here barefoot because I'm gonna build another hangout area on top of here. I'm gonna put a jacuzzi and then I'm also gonna put a cold plunge. So right when I wake up, go straight to the cold plunge and then straight into the office to get to work. So that's kind of like the plan for this area here too. Something that my dad gave me that's a good idea is I should build like a bigger wall over there, put the jacuzzi and then put like a outdoor TV and stuff there, which would be crazy. That would be crazy. And then build maybe like an exterior bar and stuff because that's a big space. Yeah, put some tanning beds along the way here. Super dope. Great. Again, like I was saying, like I want the entire backyard to give me like, literally like resort vibes. The entire back here. Then we have staircase over here. And I just said again, bro, even with like this railing, I have, I'm gonna remove it and put glass railings and put obviously new tiles all throughout the upstairs and get rid of all of this wood. I'm not, I'm, I've never been a fan of wood. I'll show you guys my master. This is basically the master bedroom. It's a huge master bedroom. Like, bro, it's 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 ridiculous. It's literally ridiculous how big. This, I've never had a master bedroom this big. And the ceilings are super tall as well. Like, there's um, a few things we're gonna do. The first thing is we're gonna do is remove the floors upstairs. So we have all of my new master bedroom furniture ready. The thing is, we're just putting temporary furniture in here because we're gonna have to literally take everything out of the room so they could put the, remove the wood, put the new tiles, and it's, it's gonna be a mission, bro. And then, over here, we have the master bathroom. Just keep in mind, everything is a mess. We're still literally moving in, but the, I was gonna wait to do the house tour until we were like settled, right? But the amount of DMs I've been getting and requests to just post it, post it on me, all right? Master bathroom, the shower is enormous. It's gigantic. And then I really like these floors. These floors are dope. And then we got the master bedroom closet, which obviously this is my side of my mirror shoes here. And then we have my wife's side because you guys already know how it is. The wife always gets the bigger part of the closet, which we already had an interior designer come yesterday. They're designing the closets for us now, but what they told us is if you're gonna do the closets, you need to do the floors before. So it's gonna be like a whole thing, kind of just like at once, which the closet's super dope, but it's gonna be 10 times nicer when we actually renovate it. Then we actually have a master bedroom balcony too, which is big too, but you know, it's just another balcony that leads to the back here. And then over there, we have two more bedrooms and we also have a laundry room, but those are the baby's rooms. So I'm gonna keep those probably a little bit more private, right? But then basically that is gonna sum up the entire house tour. And again, I can't wait to share this journey with you guys. I can't wait to show you guys all of the renovations that we do as time passes. That's what I'm most excited about is to be able to come back to this specific video after who knows a year two years and then see how the house was when we first moved in 
to how the house is then. I think that's gonna be super dope and I'm super honored you guys are a part of that journey and watching the entire journey as well. And again, for those of you guys that have been here for from the beginning, I appreciate you guys for following me throughout the entire journey. You guys have literally seen me go from, if you literally go through like my very first trading videos, like my first few FTMO payouts, that was at my parents' house. And I show you guys the first few FTMO payouts at my parents' house, then in my apartment, then in my first house, then in my second house, then you guys see me in the house that I was renting in last year, and now you guys are seeing me in my new home that I just bought for my family, which is a true blessing to say the least. You know, for me to say that I bought myself a $3 million house at 24 years old is still absolutely crazy to me, especially the type of house itself. I mean, you're talking about seven bedrooms, like eight bathrooms. It's absolutely crazy and it's truly a blessing. I appreciate every one of you guys for following me, honestly. And again, I hope I can just motivate and inspire you guys to go out and just become the best version of yourselves as you possibly can. And ultimately for you guys to chase your goals and dreams, because again, like as cliche as it is, if I'm able to do it, you guys are able to do it as well. You know, there's nothing that really separates me and you other than work ethic, essentially. It's what it is, because there's a lot of people in my situation. You can just even take a look at my students. I mean, look at the last YouTube video that I did with Cedric. He's a regular college kid who made $70,000 in a month. Why? Because his work ethic is there. I literally just gave him the foundation inside of DTI and he ran with that. Then I had another student the other day make, I get literally a $16,000 payout. And again, what did I do? I gave him the foundation, his work ethic was there and he ran with it and is starting to make something on his own from him. And then again, it literally last night I had another student post in the Discord that since before joining DTI, he was just completely blowing every single challenge that he would buy. After joining DTI, he had his first $10,000 month. Like, that's not coincidence. That's him coming into DTI, learning the foundation that I gave him, and then again, applying it and having the work ethic to actually apply it and create something on his own from it and move on. So again, if I could do it, my students could do it, you guys can too, to be honest with you. You know, anything is really possible nowadays. There's endless amounts of ways to make money, even if it's not inside of trading. And I just hope I can inspire and motivate you guys to just, of course, become the best version of yourselves. Can't wait to show you guys the end um, when the house is essentially being renovated. Of course, I'll update you guys on the house throughout the process on what we're doing in every other vlog that I do in the future. But other than that, Baka, cut to the year scene. Ah!